We'll do a quick coding demo and uh, answer questions, and we will then go from there. So the question is, how can we identify a presentational component versus a container component? Um, there's a few ways to do that. Um, one, a presentation component, and I'm going to build one in just a moment. It's going to be very, very, very close to, um, or inside of it, it's going to be mainly just bindings. And so a presentation component should have zero or very, very little logic inside of it. A container component is going to be a much kind of a, a larger component and it's going to consume data and essentially direct um, commands or function calls out of that component. But then inside of it, in the container component, it's just going to hold other components. So with that in mind, let me build, um, let me build out uh, a few components and we can see what this looks like. So from the command line, I'm going to generate a component and I'm going to call this courses list. Let me just double check that this is going to work. And because I have an extra module in my root, I'm going to go dash M app.module.ts. There we go. So we have a courses component, but I'm also, I'm adding in a courses list. And then from here, I'm going to add in a course details. All right, so now I've generated uh, two components. And we have courses list, courses details. And if we look at the courses component HTML, uh, currently, you'll notice that it just has everything in here. Like there's no semblance, like it's just doing everything. It has the list and it has the details. And what we want to do is we want to start to break this up. So within our courses component, I am going to take this courses list and I'm just going to go to the list component here. And within the HTML, I am going to paste this in. And what I am going to do just for a moment, just so we can see this, is I'm going to just create a quick placeholder for this. I'm going to save this and we're going to save this. Hopefully, let me just double check. I believe that this should be app courses list. And so if we go back into our application here, we can see that we have the courses list. And let me do the same thing with the uh, details component. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to chop this out, cut, and here, I'm just going to paste this in and then we'll go back here and we're going to go app course details and I'm going to save this here. Now, what's going to happen is that this is obviously not going to work because we've moved some stuff around and it doesn't know where to find certain things. So I'm going to comment out the course details for just a moment and we're going to focus on the courses list. Now, I'm going to uncomment this All right, what we have here is two kind of things that are happening or three things. So 
we are rendering courses, but then we have a select course and a delete course. So let me go into the courses list component and I'm going to just delete all this stuff uh, because we don't need a constructor or a lifecycle hook. So I need to generate or I need to define an input and it's going to be courses and this is just going to be an array of courses and for now we're just going to initialize this as an empty array. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an output and we will do selected and this is going to equal a new event emitter. Now what you have to catch here is notice that there are a few versions of event emitter here and if you import the wrong one it's not going to work and so I have ran into that problem a few times so we're going to go selected and deleted all right so far so good now what I can do is we can go back to the courses list and we can do deleted emit and selected emit and in theory I thought I Oh, I'm just going to comment this as well. I just would like this to render while we're building. So, all right, not a lot happening, but at least it's not broken. So now, notice I am passing in courses so I can render it, but then I need to respond to two events. One is when I select a course or I want to delete a course. Now, if I go back to our courses component HTML what I can do is I can define courses as an input and I'm going to pass in courses now unfortunately because I've turned off angular uh, language services I'm not getting um, the prompts that I would like but I can live with that so if I go here selected it can be select course and I'm going to use this event parameter here and we'll also do deleted and then this will be delete course we just double check so we go into our component we have select course and delete course okay so let's go back and you'll see here that although my layout is a little wonky that we are indeed and I think all right well I'm not tracing anything out but this is rendering so now let's go ahead and let's build out the courses detail component so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to update this to current course. Now, what I'm going to do inside of the template, I'm going to add in an input and we're going to allow for chorus and this is going to be of type chorus and we're going to go output we're going to create two outputs saved equals new event emitter and cancel equals new event emitter. 
All right. And we are not implementing on init. And so I'm going to save this. And then we're going to go back into our component here. And we're going to add this in. So now chorus equals selected chorus and canceled equals reset and saved equals save course and this is going to take a dollar sign all right this should work minus one thing you'll notice here that i have current course so i'm going to just for a moment going to update this to be current course all right just a couple things real quick so let's go into course details we will current course title and we'll go saved emit and what did I call canceled and inside of my template Cancel. All right. Right. You notice that I changed the input, and so that kind of threw things off. Um, hopefully. All right. There we go. There we go. So you can see here, now as I select this, although I'm a little bummed out that this layout is totally messed up, um, let me see if I can fix this real quick. I've got a good feeling about this. And I'm just going to wager that I probably need to do the same thing for the list. Courses list, if I'm not mistaken. And then we are in the home stretch of this. Let me check in courses list. There we go. Boom. Just fixing this layout. There we go. Let me save this. And all right, awesome. So now, new course, but we have a small problem. Hello, hello, hello. So we need to update this or one break this but also one of the things that we are doing that we want to be really careful about is in our select course what i'm going to do is i am not going to create a clone at the parent level but rather we are going to move that into the child component so I'm going to get rid of that and let's go back here. So now if I start modifying this, you can see it happens in more than one place. 